Hi guys, this is Vidur and I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless and today we will try to understand the SLE throughput and what, what parameters include in throughput and, and what, to, what to configure with it. This is the Mist dashboard and the live demo site. I've already made the change to last seven days so that we have some good data. And I'm going to zoom in here so that we understand what we're trying to look for in, in this particular video. So we'll try to understand more about throughput and uh, what these uh, what these issues are and, and what these classifiers really mean. Uh, trying to understand the throughput of a network is almost next to impossible, you know, because it depends on, on, on the mix of devices that we have, their capacity, their capability. A dot eleven n device, a dot eleven g device, a dot eleven a device, or a dot eleven b device. You know they all have different values that they support, or, or they can go up to, and that's pretty much the reason why it's 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 kind of impossible to do that. With and 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 with MIST, we're trying to achieve that. Okay, uh, what it means is we're trying to capture the not not the actual throughput, but the theoretical throughput, which basically mean not the data rate or not the data that the client is sending but the data the client could have sent in that time okay uh, based on its capacity and capability so let me just quickly go to the, the hamburger icon here and click on settings and then tell us and then you know come here and, and say what throughput is we can define the goal here as 40 mbps or i can do a slider and change the goal to 20 or, or 30 or 60 or 80 so uh, with this with this goal set to 40 uh, all all the clients uh, let's say this this goal was set to 60 mbps for example okay let's just set it to 60 mbps for now what it basically means is you know uh, every every so so we understand that all the dot 11 g clients can only go up till 54 meg uh, and of course uh, all the uh, theoretically they can go up to 50 54 meg uh, the clients on dot eleven AC and dot eleven AX or N dot eleven N they can easily surpass the sixty Mbps goal and theoretically they can they are they are very much uh, in the game and they are going to pass this particular SLE. Now the problem occurs when a, a dot eleven AC client goes across the street, sits in a Starbucks, and drinks coffee, but still is connected to the office AP across the street, right? The the connection of that client would definitely fall below fifty four. Might be might be connected on on. Uh, six six meg or uh, let's say twelve meg or, or or definitely below fifty four meg, right? So that is what we are also trying to capture in this particular this this particular SLE throughput. Okay. So once this go, I'm gonna move it back to forty meg for now. And yeah, this is good. And let me go back, close this out, and go back to the throughput SLE. So the throughput SLE will obviously depend on a lot of things. Let's say these are the classifiers. Uh, depends on basically the capacity of the client, the device capability, the coverage, and the and 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 the network issues. I'll click on capacity. I'll see, uh, you know, this is this is pretty much what it breaks down into. This is these are the classifiers. Comes to uh, when when I say most of the issues are because of capacity. I see 3.8k user minutes have been lost because of this particular SLE, uh, this particular classifier. Could be because of Wi-Fi interference in the network. Yes, I see a lot of Wi-Fi interference. Out of the 3.8, I see 3.3 have been lost because of user minutes have been lost because of Wi-Fi interference. So it takes into account all these things: uh, the, the non-Wi-Fi interference, the excessive client problem could be uh, you know, on 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 the AP. The high bandwidth utilization could be on the AP because of which we see a lot of user minutes might have been lost. So that's 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 what throughput captures, and it and we, we need to understand uh, you know on on this SLE is that it's not the actual throughput that we are capturing, we're capturing theoretical throughput and trying to understand why the clients or the APs are not able to meet that requirement which they should and that's that's and and on the remaining issue and and, and the client which are not able to do that we do rc on that and i actually show you what the reasons could be so that's 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 what we do in the the throughput actually i hope this was helpful uh, if there's any questions uh, just drop a message in the chat and i will be able to address that to you uh, thank you guys for watching this and you have a wonderful day